Hey guys, Alec decorates radical shoes here, and today we're looking at more Pokemon cards. But this time it's something very interesting, because I have some pre-release Lost Origin Pokemon cards. I went to a pre-release tournament and I got my hands on some of these cards, so I just thought I'd show them to y'all. I'll go ahead and start with um, my hollows, reverse hollows and stuff like that, just to kind of show you things. So. There is a cure on V now. It's rapid remove. It's pr pretty cool. You can just attach all the energy you need for it. For attack frost smash. And there is a cure on V max released in this set. So I didn't get my hands on that unfortunately. But there's that. There's also a radiant uh, Gardevoir. Enamorous V. There is Hisuian Gudra V star. Um, Magnezone V Star, Drapion Z V Star, and the Syrian Zora V Star. So that's pretty cool. Now, what we did for the tournament was we got this build and battle box, which is just like this little thing you can store your cards in or so after you're doing it. It gives you four packs and some cards, and it comes with one of four promo cards, and I got them a champ. See, it has a little set name there, and then its ability is pretty good. If your opponent has three or few prior prize cards remaining this Pokemon gets 150 more HP which and in total can give it 300 HP pretty good I then just got this Abomin Snow um the Chandelure with a mountain roasting ability when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn you may discard the top big cards of your opponent's deck I also have this Gliscor pretty cool reverse hollow I have a hollow Hisuian Basque Legion. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah, they are bringing back the um, energy less move. It's pretty cool. And then just I have Polyrath. And then I didn't have enough sleeves for these last two. But it's just a reverse hollow Squibbit and reverse hollow Rockruff. It's kind of light in a way. All right. So those were more of my rare cards. But now I'll go ahead and get into... Um, some basic cards that I just got. And then I'll kind of show you some of the cards I'm building a deck with. So, I have this Finneon with Oceanic Accompaniment. As often as you like during your turn, you may attach a Water-type Energy card from one of your, to your hand to one of your Pokemon that has the Swim Freely attack. Now, someone used this deck against me in a tournament that was based all off of that ability, and it was crazy. Then there's the Apom. Which then evolves into Ambipom, which all you can grab move. You flip a coin till you get tails, and you search your deck for a number of cards up to the number of heads and put them into your hands. And into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Now that's pretty good because um, you can start getting some cards early that you need. Then um, I just got a Gligar. Something really special there. Um, some energies that came in the thing. It was. It was mainly built around fighting and water types, as you see, plus the normal type. Yeah. But I just got like some Snowvers, a Machop, a Choke, a Gligar. Uh, it just came with another level ball, a Gliscor. It also gave me Professor's Research, Gliscor, Energy, Machoke, Energy, 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 Energy. A just normal version of that Obama Snow I showed you earlier. It came with a lamp. I got a lamp hit out of one of the four packs. Along with the Chandelure and a Litwick. I got a Lit Leo. Oh, a Carbink. A Panic Mask. Prevents all damage to the Pokemon. This card is attached to you by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon to have 40 HP or less remaining. I guess it could be kind of used in some cases, kind of not. It's more strategic. Um, Roselia. Yeah, I just got that too. I'll just put this back on top. Gumi. Then Metatite. Squovet. Koopa. A Silcoon. Flyhorn. Binacle. Another Gumi, a Bronzor, then a Jinx, and now this is something pretty interesting. 
As you might have guessed from the name of the set, Lost Origin, they're bringing back the Lost Zone. So I have this card, Mirage Gate. You can use this card only if you have seven or more cards in the Lost Zone. Search your deck for up to two basic energy cards of different types and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. Then shuffle your deck. And that's pretty um, cool. It's like one person uses Strong Journal card against me, which had a move that made you discard the top card of your deck into the Lost Zone. So you can start building stuff out like that. Gligar, Mian Shao, Mian Thu, Kingdra. We'll come back to that Kingdra. Um. Just some other energies I got. Cascoon. Yep. Then I have Mianfu. Another Litleo. A Ghastly. Um, a little Ducklet. Oh yeah, and I just want to say, if you want to know if something's from this Lost Origin pack, if you look down here in the bottom left corner, there'll be kind of like a Giratina-ish symbol as the set symbol. Because, you know, it's themed around Giratina V-Star. Um, a Hisuian Zerua. A Psychic Energy. A Dotler. Another um, Ducklet. Then a Blip Bug. I'm just messing everything up this video. Z. Yeah, a little Blip Bug. Another Hisuian Zerua, a Paris, a Dugong, a Fighting Energy, and now another Lost Zone card, Fantina. And you can tell if they're a Lost Zone by this, like, smoke coming out of them. Because, like, as you see in the art, Giratina's making out of the smoke. Because there's a little description somewhere saying that Giratina is making a bunch of portals open which um, is letting a bunch of like lost energy out, and some of the V-Stars use that energy and stuff. So it's kind of a little story-based. But Fantina, you can use this card only if you have 10 or more cards in the Lost Zone. During your opponent's next turn, all of your attacks take 120 less damage from attacks from your opponent's Pokemon V after applying weakening and resistance that includes Pokemon that come into play during that turn. That's pretty cool. I then got this Riley Trainer card. A Nuzleaf. Sorry if I'm, like, going through these a bit quick. I was just, you know, kind of doing it. But I know some people like to look at the art and all the moves and stuff. Shellos. Then a Hisuian Growlithe. Then just another Ducklet. Another Rockruff. A Seal. Then a Magirna. Another fire energy, Dotler. We'll come back to that. Oh, yeah, Seedra. Then another Roselia, a Porygon. Inke. Let me fix that real quick. Flip bug. Yeah, and then just another Finion. So those are just kind of my basic Pokemon. I have been recording for eight minutes. This is way too long. Um, anyways, now I'll kind of move on to my deck cards I'm using. Because these are pretty interesting. So, so far, this Kingdra is very useful. Because of the ability Seeding Currents. Now, if you're familiar with the T TCG game, you'll probably know the card Marnie. Which, when played, both players shuffle their hand and put them onto the, into the bottom of their deck. Then the person that played Marnie draws five and their opponent draws four. But what Seeding Currents does is, once during your turn you may have either player, so you can choose yourself or your opponent, shuffle their hand and put it on the bottom of their deck. If that player puts any cards on the bottom of their deck in this way, they draw four cards. It's essentially a Marnie. And you can use it. Alrighty. That's pretty useful. So I just oh, have another Kingdra that is in a Reverse Hollow. Um, the Seedra. The guy used, um, one of the guys I went against in the tournament, he used Hydro Jet. And he used that Finion with Oceanic Accompaniment to keep attaching water energy cards because Seedra, since it has swim freely, then any energy attached to Hy Seedra while, while it uses Hydro Jet does 20 more. So it was able to just stack on damage. Seedra. Then just a Horsey. I just have a good bit more of those. Alright, now for some trainer cards. Arizu, 
Search your deck for up to three evolution Pokemon that don't have a rule box, reveal them, and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Alright, then we have Iskan. Iskan? I don't really know how to pronounce it, but draw two cards. If your active Pokemon has Hisuian in its name, draw two more cards. Then Cynthia's Ambition. Draw cards until you have five cards in your hand. If any of your Pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last turn, draw cards until you have eight cards in your hand instead. Then, there's Damage Pump. Move up to two damage counters from one of your Pokemon to your other Pokemon in any way you like. Now, you may be wondering why I have these Damage Pumps. Well, that's because my deck is themed around two cards that I ended up pulling. Hisuians or V. If you want to look at it. You can only really see this card in Japanese right now, so this is pretty cool. And then, my very first V-Star card... Hisuian Zoroark V-Star. Now, my deck does not use Professor's Research because of its V-Star power. During your turn, you may discard your hand and draw seven cards. It's just a free Professor's Research. Yep. And see, the whole reason I have the damage pumps and everything, and plus in my deck I use Gape Jaw Bog, is because of his only attacking move, Ticking Curse. This attack does 50 damage for each of your Pokemon has any damage counters on it. So... Gate Jaw Bog, what it does is whenever you place down a basic Pokemon, it takes 20 damage. That's pretty easy. So if you didn't have it up before, you could then use a damage pump to go ahead and move it. And of course, I have the classic um, Shady Dealings in Teleon, which you can look at in my first Pokemon card showcase on my shorts. Self-promotion. But, um, yeah. That's all I got from the pre-release, but it was pretty cool. Um, what it did was we just got that battle box, four card, four, um, packs and cards, so we built a 40 card deck, and we did some rounds of Swiss, and then at the end of it got three more packs. So, that's how I got everything. So, um, thanks for watching. Sorry this was so long, but, um, bye!